counts in some frank speaking about the rape and painful truths about its aftermath. Maybe he's gone somewhere. I doubt it. Kathy, can we come in? Are oh, you rich? Right, that's it. I'm calling the police. You're breaking the terms of the injunction. Get out of my house! This Peel. You're in deep trouble now. Look, we only want to talk to you. Yes, well, that's what happened last time you wanted to talk. So? You took an injunction out, didn't you? Hey? Problem is, there's no one here to enforce it. Or are you going to try? Oh, Pete, stop it. For pity's sake, is that what you did? And the rest. Hey? Cheap threats. He and his bully boys came round to my hotel and forced me to sign papers saying I wouldn't come back to the square. Oh, bully boys? Who's he talking about? Now, you're Shut sorry. up! I'm not talking to you! What's he talking about? Who did you take? Big Vaughan. Frank. Ian. You... Who do you think you are, eh? Some tacky second-rate gangster? Yes, well, I think you've just about hit the nail I on said my... shut up! You've managed to turn my entire family into mindless animals, so just belt up, all right? Come on, Kath. Said it was no good coming over here. No, you didn't. You was the one who wanted me to confront him. You was the one who wanted to hear what I had to say. So you could just sit down and listen too. Right. Well, now you're both in the same room, let's start from the beginning, shall we? Now, you listen carefully, Pete. James, I loathe and despise you from the bottom of my heart. I never want to see, hear or speak to you ever again as long as I live. And the sooner you're out this area, and preferably off this planet, the happier I'll be, all right? Now, is that all right, Pete? Cathedra. No, no, it's all right. I've sent it now, so let's just carry on and get it finished, shall we? Well, come on then, James. You tell Pete while you're still here. I mean, you could tell me and all if you like, because I don't understand either. All right. All right, I'll sell up and leave the square. Now just go. No, I'm sorry, that's not good enough. What we want to know is why you're here at all. I don't have to explain myself to you. I've said I'll leave the square. What more do you want? Nothing. I just want you to convince me you mean it. I refuse to talk about it anymore. I have nothing to say to either of you. Nothing to say? Well, that makes a nice change, doesn't it? Considering all the talking you've been doing over the last few days. Or are you one of these blokes that can only talk into machines? Is that it? Only you're not like other blokes, are you? They get their kicks phoning girly lines and dirty ads in CD magazines. But oh no. You don't need to do that, do you? You got me, ain't you? What is this? Has he been sending you dirty tapes? Play them and see. No. Please, Cathy. You and I have something so special. Don't let him violate it You're like this. You're mad. You're asking me not to violate what you and I have. You're out of your mind. You raped me. Kathy, talking like this, it's, it's almost as though I'm with you no. there now. It was knowing that eventually love would find no. a way that kept me going through all those months. It, it must be me that's mad, then, eh? Me thinking of you. I must have been imagining it, mustn't I? Every minute of every day. I mean, no. I thought I was imagining it at first, I really did. Yet still cut off from you. I thought it's me being oversensitive. You don't mean me in the arm, I'm just losing my sense of humour. Then you put your arm around me, remember? We were sitting on the sofa and you put your arm around me and tried to kiss me and I moved away. And you said, it's all right, Cathy, sorry. 
the uh, I should have done that. I just got carried away. No, I'm done, eh? And I thought, no, all right. But then you grabbed me and tried to kiss me again. And I told you then, didn't I? I told you to stop it, to let go. And I pushed you away. And you were standing there saying, don't struggle, Cathy. You know you really want to stay. And, and I tried to go then, Pete. I did. I really tried. I was at the door with me coat me and trying to get out as fast as I could. And, and then he, he's pressing me against the wall and he's all over me with his arms saying, Cathy, please, please, please. And then I don't know what happened. He, he must have shoved it and I stumbled and, and then I'm on the floor. And he was on top of me, pushing my skirt up and, and hurt me and holding me down. And I'm still fighting. I didn't stop fighting, Pete. I didn't stop fighting. Oh, God, I'll take you home. No, touch me. Okay, look, just calm down. Just keep being a good girl. I'll just take you home. No. He's not said sorry yet. He's what? He's never said sorry, not for raping me. He said sorry for rushing me. Sorry for being clumsy. I want him to say sorry for raping me. Well? Sorry. Louder, 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 louder. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. She needed to punish me. I need to kill him. Hey, come on, that's enough. Enough? Why is it enough? You was all prepared to be ten kinds of a lad before, well, why can't I? Because I... Because I'm only allowed to be like the way other people think I should, that's why. Well, I have added up to it, Pete. First of all, those social workers and crisis people. Oh, talk about it, Gabby. Get it out of your system. And then there's Pauline, Michelle and Rachel, the lot of them. Let's be sensible. Let's be supportive. Let's understand. Well, what no one understands is all I want to do is take a blunt knife and gut him. You're hysterical, Kathy. And I've got a right to be hysterical. God, I've got oak tissues. Come on, you have some No. Where the hell's the bathroom in this place? Upstairs. Ask you something. Why did you do it? Well, I mean, apart from anything else, did you really not think you'll get caught? I mean, did you honestly think, Cathy, you wouldn't tell me? It terrifies you, doesn't it? The idea of passion. The idea that someone can have a feeling so powerful it's worth anything. Worth breaking down doors for. Or worth going to prison for. Because all that concerns little people like you is being normal, being safe. You'll never understand how I feel in a million years. Oh, and Kathy will. Eventually, yes. Why? She's different. She is capable of passion. She understands it deep down. But she's never been given the opportunity to show it before. Because she's been tied to me. <sighs> OK, then. So all the apologising earlier was a load of bull, was it? Oh, for heaven's sake, it's obvious. Probably. You see, I'm thick and insensitive, remember? How do you think Cathy feels, eh? She's being asked to confront something she doesn't want to admit. Of course she's scared of it. Of course she wants to punish me for making her see the truth. But she stood there two minutes ago saying she despised you, wanted to kill you. Why'd she do that? Because you were there. Because... I don't believe I'm hearing this. She's going to say things like that in front of you. She knows you won't understand how she feels. I was married to that woman for 18 years. I think I should know how she feels better than anyone on this earth. Now we're coming to the heart of the matter, aren't we? Yes. We got there ages ago, sunshine. You raped my wife and that's all there is to it. Precisely. Your wife. That's what's giving you the trouble, isn't it? You don't care about her at all, do you? What's really getting to you is that I invaded your territory. I came along and offered your wife something she could never get from you. What? Rape? Assault? 
And that's something you're incapable of, is it? Yes. Well, we know at least half of that statement's a lie, don't we? What about the other half, Pete? Can you honestly say you've never pressured Kathy into having sex when she'd rather not? What do you say, Arya? Men don't rape for fear of the consequences. I didn't say that. Well, you implied it, though. You asked me if I wasn't concerned about getting caught. Is that why you've never raped anyone? Simple cowardice. You still do the deed in your mind, though, don't you? Does that make it any better? Or is that why you hate me so much? No. Because I do what you only fantasize about. No. I hate you. Because you walked into my life and destroyed everything I'd ever worked for. My wife, family, everything. You see, I've met a lot of people like you before. Blokes who think they're clever. But what me and you know, Brian, is that all those people, you as well, all live in cuckoo land, don't they? Because they can't handle real life. Fantasies? You're the one with the fantasies, boy. Not me. Ah, I feel sorry for you, really. I mean, you've given it your best shot. Done your worst. Sold everything you could put your grubby little paws on. But look at me. Hmm? Well, look at me. I'm still standing, aren't I? And I can repair that damage. Because at the end of the day, I'm stronger than you. My feet firmly on the ground. And my brain is stuck there in my skull. But you, boy, you're lost. So give yourself a break, sunshine. Because believe me, you haven't even got Kathy. Get out of my house. Go and get her and both of you get out of my house. Why? Invading your territory, are we now? How'd you like the feeling? Or more to the point, what are you going to do about it? Hey? Show me. Come on. Show me! If I wasn't on parole, Beale, there's nothing I'd rather do. Hello, boys. Having fun, are we? You right now? Yeah, I'm just fine. Oh, come on, then. I'm sick to death of this little creep. Let's go on. Why? Thought he was having a party. Oh, cheers. Thanks for asking. I'll have a scotch and all. Cathy, if you have any feeling left for me at all... But I don't. None at all. How can I have any feelings left for you and I never did in the first place? Well, none that you'd want to know about anyway. Cathy, you sure you're right? But then, that doesn't matter anyway, does it, James? Because you decide how I feel, not me. Oh, no, that's not nice, is it? James, this is what you wanted. Look, this is the real me. You discovered my inner nature. Now I'm giving myself to you. Isn't that what you wanted? Get off. Kathy, stop this. This is sick. What is, Pete? You behaving like something out of a bad Bette Davis movie. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You never did like Bette Davis, did you? Well, who shall I be, then? Greta Garbo? Glenda Jackson? Vera Bloody Lynn? Stop it. And, of course, we all know what James wants, don't we? Anybody that's not available. Shall I be Joan of Arc for you then, James, eh? Nice suit of armour for you to break into. Or is it Sleeping Beauty? Hey, you get to kiss me then. You get to awaken my inner soul with a kiss of real passion. Thorns, doors, they're all the same. Only they're to be broken down, aren't they? No fun otherwise. Get her out of here. Oh, go on then. You go and get me out of here. Put me over your shoulder like the big strong man you are and carry me off to safety. I'll be ever so grateful, honest. What are you looking like that for, Pete? Look like you want to whip me or something. Was James right, was he? Does it run through your mind, the idea of raping me, beating me up? Is that what I should be grateful for, is it? The fact that it stays in your mind? The fact that I'm only ever allowed to be at the mercy of someone else. I sat in the bathroom and listened to you two. 
There's nothing to choose between you, do you know that? You're like a pair of dogs scrapping over a shin of beef in the yard. Well, who gives you the right to talk about me like that, eh? Who gives you the right? And who gives you the right to be so damn self-centred, eh? What? Yeah. Ever since this thing's happened, no one's been allowed to think of anything else, have we? No. We've all had to tiptoe around you like you were made of eggshells. Well, I've been hurt too as well, Cathy, you know. So's our Ian. So's everyone. But no, you're the only one that matters, aren't you? You may enjoy playing the martyr, Cap, but I told you something. The smell of burning flesh is beginning to make me puke. That's not fair and it's not true. No? No. Why do you think I came over here at all tonight? Because I want things over and done with. You sure? You sure it wasn't to come over here and have another little poke around in the wound? Keep it fresh? Remind us all what you went through. Hey? Do you think I'm stupid or something, Kath? Do you think I'm ever likely to forget it? Hey? We've all got to carry it. So what makes you think you're so different? Hey? Look at him. Just look at him. Deep down in that twisted little mind of his. He actually does know what's going on. That's why he's here. He knows you can't leave it alone. No more than he can. Well, what do you think of it so far, eh, James? Good show, is it? Watching two people tear themselves apart because of something you did. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? No. Oh, good. Because I never want you to enjoy anything ever again. Every step you take, I want you to remember what you've done and what you've damaged, and I want you to think of me and hurt and... No. No, I'm sorry, that's not true. I don't want you to think of me like that. Because if I'm full of revenge and obsessed, well, then that makes me no better than you. And I am. I'm worth more than that. The truth is, I, I don't actually give a stuff what you do. It's funny, isn't it? All this time, I, I thought that you was important, that, that what you did was important, but it wasn't. Not really. He's probably right. It didn't hurt that much, not the physical pain. I wasn't a virgin. I didn't get pregnant. It was just sex. Vicious sex, hateful sex, but it's still only sex. We came over here tonight to tell you to go and never darken our doors again. But I don't want to do that now. I don't want you to think that anything you do, anything you say or feel holds any interest in me whatsoever. You stay, you leave, you do what you like. You don't matter to me anymore. You have no power anymore. You really want me to believe that, don't you, Cathy? I told you. I don't care what you believe. Made a blinder there, Gil. God, I wish I smoked. By the way, I spoke to Jonathan the other day. Jonathan, my brother. Oh. He's been sent about going down to visit me and that, see the baby. I think I might go down for a couple of weeks. Do you think that's wise? If he sees you running off, you think he's won again. I don't care what he thinks. No, but I do. 
What are people going to think if you go into hiding, eh? Think Pete Bill can't look after his wife anymore? Pete, you don't have a wife anymore. If I can let go of it, why can't you? No, don't tell me. Because you're a man, right? Yes, because I'm a man. Ken, he took something from me and it hurts. It hurts my heart, it hurts. Yes, and mock it as much as you like. It hurts my pride. You say it's got nothing to do with you? Well, bully for you, because it's got something to do with me, between me and him. Well, well, that puts me in place, doesn't it? Right back to square one, quick, and you can say, me, Tars, and you, Jane. He destroyed our marriage. Did he? And how did he do that, do you think? Look, what's the point in going through it all again? Was our marriage really so fragile that someone like him could destroy it? Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm not. You talk as if he came along to your store and took a bite of an apple you were saving for yourself. You're doing what I did. You're saying that that man is so important that he had the power to destroy our marriage and that we were so feeble we just stood by and let him do it. So what's your clever version of it then? I just thought you stopped loving me. Me? I didn't stop loving you, Kat. You were the one who couldn't bear to be touched. You were the one who wanted to sleep separately. You put the barriers up, not me. Yeah, I know. And all the time I kept thinking, I would be all right. We've been together for 18 years. There's more to this relationship than just sex. Surely you won't stop loving me just because I can't think about sex for a while. But you did. It was the old pivot of our marriage for you. All the caring, all the closeness. It, it all counted for nothing unless we slept together. That's what was so disappointing, Pete. Realising that underneath everything, there was so little there. That's not true. I mean, do you think I'd be here now going through all this if it was? Yes. Because you just said it. It's got nothing to do with me. It's between you and him. All I'm saying is that he didn't take anything from you. Because I honestly don't think there was much left to take. It's a terrible thing to say. Yeah. That's been one of those nights, isn't it? We've all said some terrible things. Yeah, but we shouldn't be saying those sort of things to each other. Not me and you. Why not? We tore him to pieces to make him see the truth. But we know the truth. No. The truth is we've used him as much as he's used us. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's why neither of us could let go of the rape. God, it's been wonderful. A solid gold excuse to break up a marriage without attaching any real blame to ourselves. But, Kath, I didn't want our marriage to break up. No? I think it started even as far back as me telling you about the first time I was raped. I think I was a bit an apple even then. <sighs> I stuck by you, didn't I? Just like I'm sticking by you now. Yeah. But at what cost, eh, Pete? At what cost? Maybe what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to anymore. I don't want you to, and... And you don't really want to either, do you? Sorry, Kat. Never dreamt it'd turn out like this coming over here. That's the way it goes, isn't it? <sighs> what a night, eh? Who's Wilmot Brown? I don't know. We well, didn't go out. Did he go to the bathroom? Don't know. Anyway, I don't care a monkey's toss. Come on. You don't think... I mean, you don't think you do anything stupid, do you? Not that he's not done already, no. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go and look. OK. It's true. James, you in there? James, answer me. Pete, here. James, what are you doing? Pete, he's in there. He, I can hear him. He's locked the door. Well, everybody locks the door when they go to Carsey. Pete, please, there's something wrong. What's he doing in there? Don't worry. Stay in bed, Kat. What are you doing? Please go, please. Just leave me alone. I'll be down in a minute, Pete. Come on. 
Yeah. Okay. What's all this then? Some tranquilizers. I started taking them when I was in prison. Yeah. And what was you going to do? Take the rest of them now? Would you care if I did? Would I care if you did? That's a hard one, James. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think I probably would. Not because I think the world's a better place for having you in it, because I don't. Just because I think it's a dark thing for anyone to do. But then I don't think he was going to do it anyway, were you? No. Well, that's all right then. Why were you on tranquilizers in the first place? <laughs> Nerves. Oh. Kathy. What? I'm sorry. What for, James? For raping you. I really am desperately sorry for raping you. Oh. All right. Will you forgive me? No. What? I said, no, I won't forgive you. I'm glad you're sorry, but I've no intention of forgiving you. Well, that's like giving you permission to stop being sorry, isn't it? And I don't want that. James, I'm never going to do anything you ask ever again. Not even that. Oh, God, Kathy, that's cruel. Is it? What do I have to do? And I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of asking you to do anything for me, either. Whatever you do, you do it for yourself and not at all. But if I were you, I'd put the pills back in the bottle in case you lose them. Bye, James. Thank <laughs> you.